out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, what's going on? You back. Good fellow Sports TV we're in the building. Um, Tyson Fury blasts Anthony Joshua um, for quitting uh, versus Andy Ruiz and said, he, he, you know, once a quitter, always a quitter. And, you know, pretty much that's not going to change. I'll link the article in the description. He said it at IFL TV, though, if you want to find that interview. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, R- Roberto Duran quit versus Ray Leonard. And he went on to, you know, have a good career after that. You know what I'm saying? Or a solid career. So you can recover. That's a different type of quit, though. That was a frustration quit. But still, it's mentally the same. But appreciate it, man. We back. Good for the sports TV. We in the building. And look here, man. I'm not one of those dudes that um, forget. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you tell me which is worse. You know, Anthony Joshua quitting or Tyson Fury juicing. Playing the role like he a coke or dr- a drunk. Playing the role to cover up him juicing. Okay, that's just a fact. He got a backdated suspension, so guess what? You can't you can't throw rocks when you live in the glass house. Okay? You know, you can't accuse uh Tyson Fury of quitting, but at the same time you can. Okay? He quit the sport of boxing to hide his uh his PED uh situation going on. All right? People say, "Well, you know, they talk about you know, Deontay Wilder fight and everything like that, but really nobody looked at Tyson Fury any type, any different way, okay, at the end of the day, I still have my suspicions, you know, and they just suspicions, but we do know one thing for sure, him and his cousin tested positive for the same banned substance, Huey Fury, okay, you know, usually when you got skeletons in your closet, you know, mostly it's it's best to fade into the black, right, and it's best for you to hold your opinion, okay? It's best for you to sh- shut up, all right? We all not perfect, but you know what? Oh, he quit. He quit. Cool. I think he quit as well, too. And I love the pressure from his fellow countrymen, okay? But, hey, don't forget, you gave up on boxing because you got caught. You popped hot, okay? You you, you is one of the most fugazi fools out there. Look here, and I don't have no personal gripe against the man, I'm just speaking facts, you know, what you did, you know what I'm saying? What you did was, what was like, it was the biggest shit since some Panama Lewis shit in boxing. Okay. What you did was you use mental illness. Okay. And this is by far, far worse than quitting, man. Just, just him, just him and, and filling that test. This is by far worse than him quitting. Okay. You know, this dude used mental illness, as most as most people do, to get out of a situation. Okay? He used mental illness. He used being a drunk. He used being a druggie. He did all of that, gained hundreds of hundred pounds or more to to dress up the truth. Okay? He did all that to dress up the truth. Okay? Instead of owned it, okay, I took something I wasn't supposed to. It wasn't like, okay, you know, this was the one time he, he took some BS, right? And and it is what it is. It's just, oh, I don't know how I got my system. I apologize. No, you and your cousin pop hot for the same thing. Okay, it wasn't you and, and Joe Smo from acro- halfway across the world. Okay, so you got to watch what you say, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't just sit here and... And really go out here and, and chastise people and stuff of this nature. Okay, leading up to Deontay Wilder fight, right? You know, he refused to enter Vada for a couple of weeks. Why would that be? Why did he take so long to put in his Vada application? But then you got people out here riding Errol Spence about not being in Vada, right? Why not not being in three, Vada 365? Peep game. Mikey Garcia no longer in Vada 365 neither. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao ain't in Vada 365. Okay? That's what I'd be asking for these, these dudes to be consistent. Look here, I'm not worried about the UK channels, okay? I'm not worried about the white people channels, the Hispanic channels. I, you know, why can't black YouTubers or black media members, you know, 
hold people, hold everybody responsible, okay? They don't be on Canelo ass. They gave Tyson Fury a pass. They gave him Manny Pacquiao a pass, okay? But when it came to Earl Smith and Charlos, it ain't no pass. Okay, Charlos, they missed the drug test. Cool. You know, did you get on Joseph Parker? Okay, he missed one. Did you get on Tyson Fury? And I've been saying, I'm the only one that's been on this dude neck regarding this. Only dude. Everybody else and gave him a pass, you know? He think he didn't really sat there and, and probably bust his ass and shit over a hundred pounds to get in shape for Deontay Wilder. Okay. If he was invited the whole time he was doing that, then it's a different conversation. He wasn't, but everybody want to speculate about certain black fighters, even other black channels. I'm talking to them, but Tyson Fury got the biggest G pass in history. Okay. At the end of the day, it is something worse than the sport in boxing than, than a quitter. Okay. Duran showed you can bounce back from quitting. People don't really point that out. Had Sugar Ray Leonard quit versus Roberto Duran, he wouldn't be able to live it down. See, it's a it's a it's a separate set of rules and guidelines for fighters of color. From Ghana, from Kenya, Egypt, UK, Black Canadians, Black Americans, Mexicans, however you want to say it, it's a double standard. Okay, for whatever reason, you know white people always using mental illness as a shield hey man i can smell that bs from a mile away okay i'm not in the business of protecting anthony joshua but he a better man than me okay he a better man than me i would man as soon as he called me a quitter at least i didn't use no at least i didn't use no no peds okay at least i ain't go around and i, I played the biggest role of, of, of this of this decade in boxing and act like i had mental health issues and act like i was playing with my nose act like i was a drunk i was in a dark place no you was in a place where you was about to be stripped of everything and your dignity and Frank Warren and with whoever your PR team and MTK Global, they came up with a with the master plan for you or you came up with it and people just totally forgot that you popped hot. We could bring up Luis Ortiz all the time. You know, you can also dig back to Lamont Peterson. You can dig back to a number of fighters, man. But when it comes to fighters that's 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 white from Eastern Europe Eastern Europe, you know, Baroshnik is not in Vada. OK, nobody brings this shit up. OK, I'm not talking about these other channels. Talk about these black channels. OK, Canelo, you got an old buck dancing boy that put breaking news in front of everything. Defending Canelo and juicing and shit. OK, man, that's why, you know what? I'm spacing myself from everybody in this box community. OK, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't keep it 100. Now, if it's self-conscious or, or, or you're not conscious of what you're doing, cool. All right, however you want to do. But you know what? Sometimes you got to venture off and do your own thing. And a lot of people need to realize that, man. Some people get caught up in the hype, caught up in the caught up in the BS, okay? And you forget your true meaning why you started your old channel. And real talk, man, I'm not going to let this dude try to, uh, you know, ham on AJ, okay? You know, I'm not going to let him bam on AJ like that. I ain't no AJ protector. You know what? But you, you, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm going to stand up for him when he ain't going to do the right thing. Okay? He going to take the higher road. You know what? I send Tyson Fury to the upper room. He's a joke. He's a cheater. And, he, you know, at the end of the day, he fighting Tom Swartz. Don't nobody in this goddamn country care. Nobody cares that he's fighting Tom Swartz. You know them memes that say nobody? Absolutely nobody. Tom Swartz and Tyson Fury. Nobody cares about that fight. Nobody I know traveling to the Thomas Mack to watch that fight. Okay? He need Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder don't need him. Okay? Nobody asked him to see this fight. Nobody is saying, oh, okay, the undercard better than that versus Jesse Var Jesse Hart, excuse me, and Sullivan Barrera. But next time you next time you got pussy cats in your doghouse, Tyson Fury. Don't go over here criticizing Anthony Joshua. Don't you out here calling Deontay Wilder a bum or a dozer or whatever you use. You the biggest dozer in the sport of boxing. Okay? You use the biggest bum in the sport of boxing. You cut corners. You, Dillian White. Okay? Jarrell Miller. You know? You, you three. And there's probably some more out there. But you three, man. Y'all all been popped hot. All of them. And you got the audac audacity to call somebody else a quitter. You know what? Only thing really worse than boxing and a quitter is a fucking cheater. 
Okay? But y'all know what it is, man. Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Don't forget to share the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, the Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, much, much more. Website, promo code description. Goodfellas Sports TV.